Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on SAP Build Process Automation Training with me Anubhav on anubhavtrainings.com. In the last episode of this Build Process Automation Training, we looked at the concept of adding data actions to call an external API. Followed by that, we have integrated that data action or the action to load the external API data, which will load the shopping cart information, product information for shopping cart scenario. Then we have used the concept of a scripted data action to evaluate our data and finally triggering the approval accordingly. In our today's session, we are going to start the next very interesting topic, which is the backbone of the entire automation of build process automation, why it's called build process automation, which is called automations itself. So we will understand the concept of sub processes and automations in SAP build BPA. Before we start, we'll start with some open questions understand how to create a sub process or a sub flow then create a main process linking the sub process we will then talk about irpa intelligent robotic process automation what does it mean and a concept called desktop agent we will learn how to set up and install desktop agent to integrate automations in our build bpa processes and the role of desktop agent or wrap agent then we will discuss about robotic process agent configuration in our laptop and finally add automation to understand the use case so let's start and talk about our scenario for today mass order management so we are working in a warehouse as a consultant as a btp bpa consultant so where we receive bulk orders for a multi, for multiple customers so suppose there is a customer called rohit and rohit is living in delhi now rohit is a fan of online shopping he does lot of online shopping everything from needle to an aeroplane he buys from amazon or mintra or you know all these shopping websites like flipkart and all that so what he does he makes many orders and it so happens that his orders does arrive very frequently and there are many of them so you have a bulk order dispatch from your work warehouse so you will not be sending your courier boy to deliver his orders one by one so first you deliver mobile phone then the next day you deliver mouse then same day in the evening you deliver laptop you don't do that you would want to collate all the order for that area together and also for that customer together and send them together so your delivery cost can be minimized yeah so till now our company was dispatching order of each customer one by one as and when they are picked up by hand how they uh, so that that was causing a lot of cost so now there is a need to design a process to handle and you know dispatch all the customer orders in bulk yeah that's called mass order processing so we already had a business process to dispatch a single order for a given customer and that when dispatched then it was triggering an email to the respective customer that that process already have in the company it's a single order process yeah to process a single sales order of a customer now our goal is to enhance it and design a new process where we want to create a process inside process yeah use the existing process as a sub process to reuse and then do a loop on all the customer order so let's say rohit is a customer and he got 10 orders all the 10 orders are there in my warehouse so i will not process them one by one i will dispatch it all together and this should then start my work workflow or my process the single order process multiple time in a loop yeah so that is more effective cost friendly and saves lot of time for delivery boy going to rohit's house yes hence increasing efficiency of my delivery process yes for these customer orders so that is the requirement that is the goal we want to achieve mass order processing fair enough very good scenario now you can think of dispatching offer letter of many employees if you're working in hr yeah or 
posting financial documents yeah finance posting of multiple finance documents together so depending on the area functional area you work the borderline here is to do something multiple time in a loop so how can we achieve that with the uh, with the btp workflow or build process automation from that customer so let me explain the design design is very important if design is not clear to us then certainly things are not going to work yeah design is very important so step number one what my user will do or what the warehouse manager will do they will have a app something like this where they enter a customer id yeah let's say uh, customer id is rohit yeah so they enter that when they enter my build process starts what my process does my process the first step will be through an api trigger yeah which will receive the cust id from the app right then then there will be a action which will read orders from my api for that customer so this is my second step third step once all the orders are read it comes in a specific api format remember value array then data but it gets me a lot of data i don't want that so i will add a script action to map this data to my a local variable so i will be creating a local variable called internal table of orders something like that and in that I will fill all my data from the data coming from this ABI. Yeah, let's say this is X. So from X, I will map all the data to my ITAB order. Then my next step will be to start an automation. Because in the normal build process, you don't have a capability to do any loop. That's why for the first time, I will be integrating an IRPA step. Yeah, robotic process automation step now that we will be designing and that will do everything and that will be the end of the process now coming to this specific part let's also understand this one so here this will start again and it will have a loop over the data so this it order i will pass as a input so loop at it orders internal table orders i will loop actually and with this loop this loop keeps on running as many number of times yeah it keeps on running as many records are there so suppose the customer rohit have five orders in the database so we got here five entries so this loop will run five times yeah when this loop runs every time in this loop i will call my existing single order process so this become a sub process i am integrating a process which was dis used to dispatch a single order now as part of this uh, as part of this step automation step as a sub process wow i love it so once all these orders are looped through and dispatched it will come out of my automation step so at the end of it you will get if rohit or uh, you know the warehouse manager will get five work item to dispatch all the five orders of Rohit or if they are 100 orders, they will get 100 work item. So you don't have to do repetitive work. This repetitive boring work is done by RPA, Robotic Process Automation. And to be very precise, who does this work? There is something called desktop agent. It's a robot. It's a robot which does this work. Yeah. So that will be my design, which I will be following i will be implementing when it comes to sap build process automation trigger action to read orders for customers script and automation api trigger action to read script and automation so here in the automation input also we will bind our list internal table and order date all the data we will also bind order date it, it, it already took the mapping you see automatically because the names matched so it took that was the last step passing all the order data together to the automation automation will loop over this data trigger the form in the batch 
and those many work items will get created in a batch bam what a scenario it's a very common requirement in a company whether handling massive number of ledger entries triggering mass invoices yes or triggering mass emails or uh, you know sending mass notification whatsapp messages all sort of stuff you can do with this kind of a scenario so understand the business once you know the business then you know the implementation how to achieve it i save it and wahala let's release contains significant changes version 2.0 i'm releasing so it's a completely changed business process now so mass order processing it can handle single order and multiple orders depending on how many order that customer has done we are happy and then we will go to this released version 2.0 and deploy that to the cloud wahala so it will be created okay please proceed my destination name is product service please deploy we are happy so this is the complete process we develop for the first time using the power of robotic process automation along with entire configuration i taught you step by step like a school babies yeah so let's go back i'm excited to test this i'm going to go back to my uh home page yes and as usual i will be exporting this and uh, giving this as part of material you can import it directly yeah so i will also see if i can export this gentleman here the yeah download api specification only i can do i can't export the whole action unfortunately anyways let's come back let's see if here we can export uh we have ability to export let's see yeah we have i will also be sharing this with all of you yeah as part of material good so let's test it so we go to monitoring we go to process and instances right now i didn't start the process so first let's go to control tower environment look at our process in the public environment triggers and then we are going to take the api call to trigger like we've been doing in the past so i'll in the meanwhile open the postman tool and uh, that was an earlier shopping cart which we used yeah and then we will just create one more copy duplicate yeah and then this is a mass order processing and then we can come inside view copy body paste everything pass the customer id so i will pass the customer id and on yeah so there are seven orders so you should receive seven work items actually yeah in the in the batch so i'm going to go back again close it monitoring processes and instances and done oh my god that was superbly fast look at that so it triggered it triggered the automation yeah it was triggered you can also go back to automation agent and you see it was ready project was loaded oh my god wow you, you can you can see the 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 history here what what has gone what has gone what are the events which are received so you see it has uh, started the the execution actually so everything you can actually see in the agent yeah in the agent details and and see versions and everything over there yeah, that you can see actually over there so what eventually it did here it has completed the the main workflow but that has lead to triggering a massive yeah a massive bunch of bunch of order dispatch mass order processing imagine if you would have have to do this manually one by one look at the power of automation it can bring down your effort yeah bring down your effort so seven orders what triggered so eventually in my inbox app when you go back and reload should be see seven forms one for each order for submission yeah okay let's see what happens it's also showing running let me just go back to one of them and i can just also say show me the task yeah so you see this is the task which has come it's ready to to take an action and you can see the task yeah it's been 
so processor is not assigned actually so by mistake i have completely forgotten to put a processor for my workflow so let's again go back and fix it you can assign the processor manually here and i can put my email id but it's better we will fix this also so i assign a processor now it's done administrator can do that so i can see this task in my inbox application here yeah so let's also fix it also let me come back to the sub process where we forgotten i believe to assign a processor for the for this single so it was started by since it was started by automation task perhaps it did not assign the processor correctly so i will just kind of assign the processor manually and you see i've received this order date order id ship name and now i can assign a delivery agent melania and i say send to melania and melania will be taking this order for us and she will be delivering it to customer correspondingly